home, BattleRap.com, Summer Madness 5 PGs. Close to the end of the night, there's still a couple more battles left, obviously the big one with uh, Cortez and Cicero. Yes, um, but let's recap the PGs, uh, first of all, by introducing yourself. I don't need no introduction. First and foremost, I am BattleRap.com. Mm. You know what I mean? Everybody that's like, get on there, they're like my, my uh, I'm the headliner, what's, what's underneath? They're the undercard. Yeah. But you know, this is the war report URL. We taking over. Actually, we gonna put URL TV, not TV from here on out. Mm -hmm. But you, you know, put like some labels, some lower thirds. Facts, facts. Co-production. You know, it was crazy. Yesterday we was in the building at Some Man Is Five, and somebody thought he was dirt back then. No. <laughs> You're a fucking. You know, it's true. But nah. Some Man Is Five weekend been crazy, man. I'm still out here working. Obviously, yeah. you know, Smack. He's putting on makeup right now. I don't know where he's at, but uh, mm. we all putting in the footwork. But shout he's out to gluing, the He's gluing his beard on. Yeah, you know, he <laughs> takes it off before he goes to sleep. Smack really don't got a beard. That shit just he adds it on. But um, um this is our new artist. It's Mei Ling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mei Ling. She's dope. Don't don't get the bag. That's a whole act, man. But she's actually she dope. Yeah, she, she's dope. <laughs> she's the hardest uh, rapper in Chinatown. So, let's <laughs> let's start uh, first by recapping today. Um, I caught most of the battles, not all of them. I was up here doing interviews. Uh, some phenomenal standouts. Uh, in your, you know, I'm the yeah, best yeah, yeah. Chris. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Tell the world nobody fucking with me. Come on. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it at the bottom of the article somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but you know, um, there's a lot of dope talent coming in for uh, 2015. I've been really um, adamant about weeding out the, the weak and getting the stronger. But there's a, there's a lot of dope candidates for rookies versus vets too. Let's talk. Well, let's talk about today. Uh, five standouts from today. You think? Mike P, Haitian, None None, Av, um, Young Scotty. I mean, Dre Dennis. Uh, Illinois and uh, fucking um, Brooklyn Carter. Is that good? I missed that. Yeah, one. man, it's, it's. I might have to expand the class, maybe a, a battle or two. It's that crazy. Um, shout out to Stewie Newton also on the West Coast. Yeah. He's making the class. Yeah. So you know, man, it's it's a lot of fun, man. It's a, the, it's a uh, lot of work, but you know. I hear Mo Moolah. Mo oh <laughs> shit! Word up, Mo Moolah. Shouts to mm. Mo Moolah, man. Oh. Um, I know, he's the dancing rapper. I mean, <laughs> he said I mean, he was, I missed bars, that. He had a punch and a dance, but he's fire. Like, I like, uh, I like, I like, I like, I like Momula. Momula's another one, you're absolutely right. Let's recap uh, Nun Nun versus Av. That was one of the best small room battles I think I've ever seen, crazy, ever. Man. It was crazy. They started off with Av, when Nun Nun's first round was dope. Then Av came out. I, that's one of the best first rounds I've ever heard. Then um, none, none comes and the, back. And just like pure rapping, oh, like, no bad wow. bars, just like pure Incredible. fire. Yeah. Incredible. And then fucking then um, none, none brings out his girl, his girls rapping, and that shit was fire. I thought it was gonna be corny. That shit was fire. Yeah. You know what I mean? The feces line and all that shit. Mm -hmm. I was just like, oh my god, that might be battle of the night, man. I thought yeah. Mike P and Haitian was gonna be battle of the night. Me too. And that battle came, so yeah, it's been a crazy night, man. And for those that are real like true hip hop fans. We really in Lower East Side, Manhattan right now. It's grungy, dirty in there. It's, mm -hmm. it's, this is exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, first event, uh, first PG since Black Star uh, has closed down. How much of uh, you know of a hit to battle rap culture is that uh, I mean, that, that closure? Black Stars, man, like so many dope battles, man, from the Luxes to the Goods and you know Clips. I mean, it, it's so much history, man. Shout out to Pop from Black Star, man. And, uh, mm. that, that, it's like when, it's almost like when um. Oh man, what the hell is that shit called in Brooklyn? Um, fat, no, when Fat Beats closed down. Yep. And no, Beach Street too. When Beach Street closed down in Brooklyn and mm -hmm. Fulton. You know what I mean? So it, it, it definitely, it's a big shot to hip hop, man. And we gotta, we gotta support our own, man. So, mm. you know, it's how I tell people, man, support what, uh, what we're doing over here at Smack. Support what King of the Dot is doing over there. Support what Ernie. Don't, don't talk about those clowns. No, no, I fuck <laughs> I mean. Man, look, man, Organic allowed to himself all he wanted to say, he number one, but he's still my man. That's what he's supposed to say. Mm. But um, I respect him, and I respect um, Bishop and um, and Organic, they stand up dudes. Man. Every uh, league this year, the major leagues, uh, Don't Flop, URL, and King of the Dot, have I... Oh, no. URL's the major league, then we got everybody else. That's another one, that's their, their bag! <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, all, so the major leagues um, have all across the board done really impressive things. Yeah. Don't flop with the, ex the American expansion. Yep. URL uh, with, uh, was, did you have a UFF this year? Uh, or was that last yes, year? Yes, we did. Yeah, well, I mean, you had. Yeah, it was last year. But okay, but like, um, just like with all of your, they're pushing the rookies up, um, with this weekend has been really impressive. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, King of the Dots doing their stuff I mean, as well, you know, like bringing back mm -hmm. Solomon, like just. That crazy was dope. stuff. Solomon Daylight was dope. Mm. I mean, like I said, man, like, 
I like it because I feel like we push each other. Mm. You know what I mean? And you yeah. know, I seen Organic's um his little press conference and stuff like that. And it just, you know, it made me smile because you know, Organic is one of those guys that, you know, he's very professional. He never pushes back. So I'm really proud of, mm -hmm. to see him. You know, he, that's what he does. He should feel that about himself and his league and stuff like that, man. Yeah. And, uh, Er is doing his thing. And uh, it, tell me if you agree with this. It also feels like the three leagues have really like found their own lane again. Now, absolutely. like King of the Dots doing very King of the Dot ish things, URL yeah, doing URL ish absolutely. things. And I think that's something that could lead to a real world domination type battle with us mm. going against each other. Um, I feel like they, 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 they're developing some new cats against some new guys back. I'm, I'm happy that Dumbfounder is back, man. Mm -hmm. I really like I'm a real big Dumbfounder fan. Have you watched him in Diz? No, I didn't watch that. I watched him in Conceited. But um, I was definitely fucking with it, man, to be honest yeah. with you. And uh, Dumb Diz drops tomorrow, and I think Diz might actually impress you. Like, he, uh, he went bananas, and people I mean, love you it. You know, yeah. Diz, Diz is, um, he's talented. There's no doubt about it. Disaster's very talented. I just think his worst enemy is himself sometimes. So, mm. you know, I don't know. Like, sometimes, like, when I see him in DNA, he's one of the best battles I've seen. Mm. And then he'll follow it up with something. I'm like, ah, whatever. But... You know, it's disaster, man. He's not your average battle rapper. Honestly, like, disaster is one of these guys that even when, you know, he's uh, low in popularity amongst hardcore fans or East Coast fans or whoever, um, he still drives so much traffic to our website. It's like he's never unpopular. Disaster needs to have his own reality show, man. Like, he's really entertaining. When I've seen him doing the um, Total Slaughter shit, like, yeah. he's, he's fucking great. He's dope. Like, right. he's he's a little bit, I'm not going to say bigger than battle rap, but... Kind of what Conceit is doing with the Wild and Out, I can yeah. see this acid on because it's really interesting, man. He's a he's a handsome individual, you know. I mean, the girls like him. Nah, I'm not shit, man. He's not an uh -huh. ugly dude, man. Like everybody say, pause. Nah, man. Like you could see him doing other things besides battle rap. So I definitely expect him to get into movies. That's Mei Ling. Mei, Mei, Mei Ling, I don't know. She don't want to talk. That's my that's my wifey. But um, uh, you know, I'm waiting on him. I know there's been kind of rumors about. Uh, Rookies versus sophomores, the 2014. Shit. I told you, you that's in, in confidence. <laughs> now, nah, um, rookie sophomores, I'm definitely working on mm. rookie sophomores. With the success of rookie versus vets, with, with so many dope rookies that came out this year, I want, I have to see it. And you know, I came up with that idea of rookie sophomores. We, we definitely want to do it, and the fans want to see it, man. I think the rookie class this year is crazy. Yeah. So, I mean... And I think uh, it'd be great to see, because uh, we, we're seeing these massive events, 1,200 people, yeah. insanity, uh, and, like, massive crowds that are really like a roller coaster on how to handle them. Um, and then we're also seeing these kind of mid-sized events, rookies versus vets, still, like, 700 people. But it'd be so good to see, you know, stuff like this with maybe bigger names, yep. that rookies versus sophomores with in front of 200 people or something uh, I mean, that are all I mean, there to be there. sophomores going to do about 1,000, man, like... You look at the rookies, you got like Wavy, you got like uh, Chess, you got motherfucking uh, T-Top Bridge. Like they've established themselves over this year, man. They've been in fights and their fan bases are starting to grow. So I think rookie sophomores is definitely gonna gonna be excited, especially with these rookies coming up. Mm -hmm. When these battles are released, hey, Mayling, hey, <laughs> Mayling. I, I don't know, Chinese people just walk. Don't found it. in Chinatown? Like what's going on right here? Let me talk to Dumb found it, Dumb found it. The people are mad rude. Come on, man, get out of the way. You said you people? You hear this racism? He said, you people is mad rude. <laughs> Who is he talking about? I was man? talking about dumb found cousin. Nah. That's racist shit. <laughs> you people, as soon as I hit the screen, said, you people is mad rude. You gotta, you gotta check the mic. Hold on. It's just gonna be oh, you melting. Oh, can't hear me? Let me get this fucking mic, man. Let me get this fucking no, mic. I never let go Yo, of yo. <laughs> he know what he said, man. <laughs> if you uh -huh. notice, he had a bedazzled sweater on. <laughs> bedazzled. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Looks like your little sister made it. But, um. <laughs> Y'all love this bedazzle type shit. You know what I'm saying? Flames on the side of the. But, um. Oh, there's another one standout performer tonight. That's Illinois, if y'all don't know who there it is. There he is right there. That's, that's Illinois. Who right lives? What's going on, man? Yes, it was a beautiful outcome. I'm happy with the outcome. Feel me? It's all going to be on preference. You had your little Brooklyn Carter groupies and your Illinois fans here. It's cool. Feel me? First round, I feel I took it. Second round, eh, I, I edge it to him. Third round, clearly. Yeah. Third round, clearly. So I'm be I, I, it's, it's beautiful. I'm, 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 I'm so, it feels so good to be back. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, Norbs? I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to he, grace the stage he once said again. said that you were his first artist? Oh, yeah, yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so, me, listen. Um, all right. Yeah, I'm going to let Mayling, you know. Mayling, hold on, hold on, Mayling, hold on. Mayling, no, Mayling. let him. We're blocking the path. Hold on, Mayling, come on, come on, Mayling. Come on, come on. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of Dumbfounded. Big fan. 
Nice. But um, but um, you have to cut I'm all this. Of, I'm tired of this. I'm uh, tired of your cousins walking by. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm a big fan of Dumbfounder. I'm fuck with Dumbfounder for real. Well, there's people but rude so shit. tell me the story. How do you guys know each other? Oh, uh, when I first started doing the music shit, I was doing the music shit first, and uh, he was actually the first artist I met, and he was just dope. I met him like he was 18 years old. He was just fire. He just How old are you actually, now? I'm 28. Okay, yeah, so, 10 years ago. Okay, yeah, 10 yeah, years so ago. I met him. Dude's music is crazy. Started managing him, and like he's really the guy that got the ball rolling with what I'm doing now. And every, everything evolved. Met Smack, and you know, just got to work, man. Mm. Like, listen, it's crazy. Everybody got this mis misconception that. You know, I'm just Norb's man, and he just gave me a shot because he's my boy. One, first of all, this family. Second of all, what does Norb's do? He's the talent scout, correct? Like a part owner, and 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 part owner, and and like the, three three percent, and and and, and, the, and the motherfucker who get the Dutchess, who get the Dutchess, who get the Dutchess, right? The one who get the Dutchess for the person that get the I Dutchess mean, for the person that get. What I do now is I get the hair dye for Smack's right. beard. Right, but up in age, but you know. But I mean? yeah, he's a talent scout, and I'm actually one of the first talents that he came across. So it's obvious that he's going to believe in me. Like, have I been letting him down? Hey, okay. Thus far, I haven't let Norbs down yet. And I refuse to let Norbs down. So, you know, Norbs is, 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 is the worst critic in the world. I don't even let him hear my bars. Cause Everybody he, hates me. You understand what I'm saying? I am yeah, the most shit. He ain't shit. I'm being honest with y'all. He ain't shit, but... Somebody, it's a, hard, it's a it's a hard job, but somebody's got to do it. Like, what was really? what was Norbs like ten years ago? Oh, <laughs> he had some hair. Feel me? Like like get a Caesar cut. He was a ball playing fat nigga. Like yeah. he was a ball yo yeah, yo. He was a ball playing fat nigga. But even even back then, he always had an ear for this shit. You understand what I'm saying? So if there's anybody that's perfect enough, like good enough to. Scout for talent is Norbs, man. Like at the end of the day, look at all everybody that he put on that stage that kills, and then you got people that he gives a shot and get mad when they fuck it up. Like you get, listen, B. Like it's horrible, but you know what? Yeah, you I commend, yeah. I commend Norbs. Got an important call. I commend Norbs. Norbs do his thing. I definitely feel happy with the outcome today. You know, I'm back out, fresh out the bing, and I'm ready. Whoever won it, let's go. Killing noise. We'll end it there. Good to meet yeah. you, man. Hey, Howard. likewise, brother. That's, right. that's got to be a top five voice in battle rap. <laughs> Everybody Man, says that's that. That's good shit. That's, yeah, the that's voice. authentic hip hop right there. Bully, H of H.